Three companies have been chosen by the province. Harnessing this unique resource allows us to build. We will be investing $4.2 million. Over the years, there have been plenty of announcements promoting tidal power, but there's been precious little success. Two turbines were installed at the test site in the Minas Passage. One was destroyed within days. The other also failed and remains on the ocean floor. Today, no electricity is being generated from the tides. The owner of the last tidal platform to produce electricity abandoned the province. It was our inability to uh, get an authorization from uh, DFO that would enable us to build our flagship demonstration project. Jason Heyman's company, Sustainable Marine, installed its tidal platform near Briar Island where it performed well, hailed of course by politicians. A great announcement from Sustainable Marine for the first time has actually got uh, in-stream tidal energy generated in the Bay of Fundy. But the company was never able to secure federal approval for the next step, installing multiple platforms in the Minas Passage. The embarrassment over the company's departure triggered a task force review and changes this week designed to create a pathway for developers. DFO has adopted a 15-year project approval that allows multiple turbines provided it can demonstrate no adverse effects. Previously, each device required a separate authorization. That gives a little bit more certainty to the industry who has to plan investments and the logistics around these devices uh, while also upholding our requirements as a regulator around the Fisheries Act and the Species at Risk Act. Acadia University and the agency that manages the tidal testing area will look for better ways to determine the collision risk between fish and turbine blades, the big challenge in the murky, fast-flowing waters. It's really aimed at uh, moving towards a field program where we can test different technologies and sensors and combinations of sensors to understand uh, what the true capabilities are for monitoring in the Minas Passage. It's a, a very small nudge of the needle. Jason Heyman remains skeptical. And they're not able to articulate what form of mitigations or monitoring they're expecting to see, um, or that these are even possible. In the meantime, another small-scale tidal turbine installation is planned later this month, not far from where the sustainable marine platform broke loose and ran aground after the company declared bankruptcy. Paul Withers, CBC News, Halifax.